All right, and I just put it all within, <laughs> within, within the uh, package that I started last or last time. Um, there we go. Getting the chat open. Uh, I started playing around to to test what did what to to make sure I I got my uh, head wrapped around it, and I think I've got it. I think I get it now, mostly. But people can um, tell me if they think I have something wrong. So the, the, you know, normal documentation, you don't have, you don't use name, you don't use describe in, you don't use RD name, and then it will just be in its own help file named. That function's name is the name of the help file. Um, but if you want to do something fancy, there are these options. And so the example I've got here is I've got this documentation thing that is, um, it's a, it, it's like a dummy document that I have this document that I named math. And it's the idea being, it's going to be a bunch of fun math functions that all get thrown together into one document. And you can make this dummy by putting a null there and then telling it explicitly what to name it. So I'm going to name this thing math. Um, I technically could also put that name here, but I'm going to show you why I do this this way. Um, all right. And so um, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm breaking out everything. And, and we'll talk about this part later, that it's in this family called things. We'll see what that family does. And then I'll get this, this function add that takes a left-hand side and a right-hand side and maybe some other arguments and uh, does something with them. And I say that that should be described in math. And when you do describe in, you need a description. And so what that does, if we look over here, um, ignore that part there, that puts these arguments that I defined, those come into this math help. And it also, since I said it's describe in, it is uh, in this function list and it gets its own little description in the function list. And so I did the same thing with add.character. So describe in math and it gets its own little paste together characters. Um, and I, I was able to define a parameter here and that parameter shows up in the combined help file. So describe in, the main thing describe in does is put it down in here, but anything else that you do in this block shows up in that same help file. So what happens if you changed the description, like you added another parameter left-hand side? Um, let's see. And it yeah, overruled it, it. It takes the mm. last one. So mm. that's not totally shocking. Um, but yeah, so so that part is uh, interesting. Um, it will, yeah, I think that's, I mean, that's generally true. For example, I can't remember if this is going to error or overwrite. It's just going to overwrite. And so now the, the last one I defined here is the one that's used. So it's always the last one. And you think of it as kind of sticking all these together in the order that they're encountered. All right. So the next one, I, I did another add method. And I just say RD name math. Uh, well, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I just say export. And when we look at this one's help, it will say it, it doesn't have the S3 method. So I'm sorry, for add.character, since I have the describe in, um, or sin since it's in this help, it shows us S3 method for class character, and it shows us a little bit about like that call. But notice that it doesn't have add.numeric versus if I tell it where to put numeric, it explicitly is going to put it up in that S3 method block. 
and now we have numeric and it shows the arguments for that. That's the only difference if, with or without the RD name is whether it shows that little block there. Does anyone have any questions about that so far? John, when I did it last week, the, the, um, the method dispatch was appeared under a methods heading in the help, not a functions heading. Do you know what the difference is? I do not. Is that describe um, in or is that RD name? The, right, so probably, it, and that you, we're not gonna see it because of this combination that I'm doing. Because I this one is just RD name and notice that it's not in the function setting. It's yeah. only up here because I didn't give it the describe in. Uh, um, can you switch it to um, describe in instead of RD name and then see if it moves? Yeah, it, it will describe in. You need an, a description. So um, combine uh, numeric things and then and all right and then it'll be down here mm. we, we don't know why it says functions here and not methods i think because i'm com because it's in this bulk thing like mm -hmm. if i put them all in add instead can you go to namespace yeah so i can show you the namespace file actually that's right there and they are doing the s3 method add that or add character, add numeric. Yeah. yeah. Um, and actually, I'm I'm certain of it that the the reason that it's different than what you saw is this is describing in a general help file. If I uh, I can leave that. That doesn't matter. If I get rid of this describing here, I think actually if I if I just nuke these. Let's see what this does. And then we'll do describe in, but, um, oops. Uh, needs, oops, needs a, all right. And actually, it's not going to be in Ed anymore. It's going to be in its own thing if I didn't screw up. Um, all right, so right now, we don't have anything about the methods. Mm. But if I do scribe in uh, add um, paste together strings, now it should end up there. And it'll probably be in the methods section. Yeah, there we go. Does that make sense? Sorry, so, so what, what do you do? What, so uh, since I am describing this in its like natural parent, oh, I see. then it's in methods. But if I were describing it in math. Ah, uh, ah, uh, got it. It's, it will show up as a function named add.character. I see, okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, because that was a good question. I, I, was, I had missed that um, case. So yeah, now add.character goes into the math thing. Um, and then the other piece that uh, fits what the question, or one of the questions was I put this family tag on it, it's in the family things. And I made another function that's in the family things. And then it says other things and it'll link to it. That family, all it does is it auto generates the C also block. And so if you have a whole bunch of things that are all going to be in a family and whatever I say here, so family um, example functions and I rebuilt that, that will be what comes after the word other. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Nope, I have to do it on both of them. All right, and now other example functions is echo. And if I go to echo, it says other example functions is math. That's another interesting thing that since I have these in a combined math thing, it's not a function. So it doesn't get the parentheses in the, the 
links. So echo is a function. So it says uh, it's got echo parentheses parentheses, but math just has the word math. Um, and I guess since we have this as a separate help, help file, we can say family example functions. Oops. And now add is in that family and you can link between them all. John, could you, could you move the lines 20 to 22 outside of the documentation block and then just have the name add there and not with its actual definition, but. What? No, 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 I, I mean, so the, the function is defined above the block and then you just repeat it. So like lines 22 to 24, move it to line nine. Okay. So it's defined outside and then, and then line 23, put add. Is that, no, oh, just, just put. Add, yeah. Does that do something? Um, I want to put a space here just to, to yeah. make sure that nothing is confused. Um, yes, I'm curious if it's going to know the add as a function or. Nope. Yeah. Has to be an assignment of it, or you explicitly. But it doesn't show the call. Huh. So yeah, that it doesn't really get that. Yeah. Um, okay. One more thing. <laughs> Just test all kinds of things. I'm sure that they never really thought about. It. They right, do. but it works. <laughs> <laughs> so that does it. Um, <laughs> it, it. It's possible that would even work. Let's see. So it's just something from doing? how it it interprets the assignment and then pulls out the necessary yep. pieces. <laughs> um, and it's because you know add is function yada yada, and so it, it sees this and this as and it, the same. And it doesn't matter if you do a double arrow or equals. Ooh, um, probably, I don't. Don't do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so don't do that. This is insane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what you're planning, but don't do this. No equals. You technically can do, but um, also just don't do that. What about right hand assignment? Arrow to the left, to the right. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that, that totally probably issues. will work because at least it part it parses it as a left hand. Yeah. Oh. Assignment, so. Yep. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think we totally learned that last time too. It's like the exact same thing. Yeah, like um, R doesn't really know that it's different because it's in the the parser. Uh -huh. um, what about assigning like the actual function? <laughs> that would be super hard. <laughs> what? I, I'm working on a project right now that this would totally fuck up what I'm doing. Uh, Uses of assign. Oh wait, it's it's quoted, right? Yeah, I like, think the first one needs to be quoted. the first yeah. one needs to be a character, and then yeah. Mm -hmm. It no. deleted add.rd. Yeah, because it doesn't see that this is add. But if I do... No. <laughs> Abuse! Abuse! No, it's a suck. <laughs> I, don't, I think it's going to be la lacking this, lacking the usage. Oh. Let's see. No! 
Wait, oh, you're, you're, you're looking at the assign. You're, you're looking yeah. at the assign. You need to look at no. that. Oops. Okay. <laughs> what did I do? You've, you've been using F2 as the shortcut, but you've been doing it. F1. But Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. that one. It lost it. So, so yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't take, probably don't do this, but it's the least awful. I mean, it's uh, awful. I mean, Why are you assigning it to itself? This is this is just straight up awful. <laughs> you got to test the robustness of these systems, and yeah, you never know what an end user is going to do. Um, let's see. I think that's all the all the stuff. Um, I I used to like work really hard to get met methods exported right, and then I learned that, I, and I think they fixed Roxygen. That it just if you just say export, it just puts it in the namespace the right way. It figures mm -hmm. it out. You don't have to again, don't don't worry about it. Roxygen's got your back. Just breathe. Don't think too hard. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can do um what is it like there's method and there's export method. You don't have well, to do those things. There's also something special that, right? if it's uh S4. A S4. It's a method. It's a method from a different class. Yeah. Or from like a different package. Right. Your... Do you have to like depend on? No. You only have to depend on if you're gonna um, like totally require the other package. Like your package doesn't do anything without the other package loaded. Um. It's pretty rare. Like if I, I guess if I were writing a database back back end, I would depend on DBI probably. Other than that, DBI puts that that would put DBI into. Wait, does ODBC depend on DBI? Uh... It. <laughs> imports dbi okay yeah there isn't a lot that depends on each other um in modern r huh. right. not well not well designed modern r right <laughs> yeah actually i'm sure there are tons of things that have dependency like that but um Our MySQL does depend on DBI. Okay. So, then, so it's inconsistent. Uh, but how about our MariaDB? Um, does not depend. And our MariaDB is the modern our MySQL. Because MySQL sold out. Mm hmm. <laughs> what happened to MySQL? Got uh, bought by Oracle. Bought Oracle. It, yeah. But MariaDB is exactly the same as MySQL. I see. Um, so it's the open source uh, fork. And it's entirely and compatible pretty much. Like right. everything, anything MySQL can be opened by MariaDB and I think the reverse as well. Yeah. So is, is SQLite replaced by DuckDB? Replaced what? Replaced by DuckDB. I am not familiar. But yeah, I, I've heard of that one, and uh, I don't know if enough people are actually switching over yet, but I could see that in like five, ten years. It's a, it's a more analytics-based SQL. Okay. Sim similar to SQLite. Similar to SQLite, but analytics? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Neat. Embedded, standalone, OLTP, OLAP. Okay, I have no idea. All right. Anyone, did anyone have any other things they wanted to see for this chapter other than weird esoteric ways to uh, <laughs> break uh, Roxygen? Because this is like, it's the meat of the, the book, but um, 
you know, like I said, I was kind of distracted from putting together a full talk about this. Um, I am very much up for answering questions or having discussions on the Slack <laughs> about this. Uh, and like all my questions are like better package stuff. Like uh, I, I, writing examples uh, in the documentation, I never really like doing that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, uh, I'm bad when I'm demoing at putting examples in, but that is one of the things that we like require in our checks that we have to have examples for all functions, which is kind of funny because most of the time I've also got a vignette, which is a way better example than anything that I would put in in examples. Um, there's, I don't know, because there, there is the, the strong argument that when you're reading help, usually you scroll down to the bottom and see how to use it. So it's good to put good examples in. I just am not always perfect about that. I think it depends. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I, if I have some very specialized functions that depend on very specific data being passed in, right. I'm not going to mock that out in an example. Uh, yes, that that is fair. Yeah, that's my scientific work with like specific data and it's like in that case vignette would be more useful but for me i just don't even make a package I just like copy over the code <laughs> to another project my code is like constantly evolving i'm like i don't know if i want to package this because i'm just going to update that later and so i just kind of yeah. treat it like a package but I don't actually make it a package and there john you mentioned that you you like document even your non-exported functions would you provide examples for your documentation no, of exported functions? Because um, uh, the the command check, CMD check, breaks on export or examples. Oh, because it is you can't run exported example. functions. Well, yep. but you can you can you can put don't run on it and it'll pass. Yeah, yeah. Um, or no run. It will, and but it'll still. There is something where it was just freaking out about it. And so either I had to namespace it with the triple colon, which is dumb, um, or just we just stopped documenting the internal functions. I mean, sorry, we stopped putting examples for the internal functions, which is fine because the example is like above in the, the function that calls the internal function. That's an example. Um, mm -hmm. And usually we say, you know, how it's being used or whatever, so. But you document everything. We do, because uh, again, future me doesn't know why I did this. And so I, I'm i pretty, I mean, you know, sometimes we're a little lax, but the, the rule is everything is documented. Um, partly because like I do a lot of, I'll write the documentation and then the function yeah. um, to kind of work out what do I want this to do or gotcha. so that it's ready. If I have to leave for the day and come back, I know what I intended that, that function to do. So there's that. 